Yeah, cool. I'm Zoddy, I play drums. I'm Biz, I play guitar. I'm Matt, I play bass. I'm Oliver, I do vocals, and we're our last enemy. watching uh, late night TV and a preacher came on and was doing his uh, his preaching and he said uh, is that what he does yeah he was preaching <laughs> and he said uh, an interesting line he, he was said an evangelicisting yeah that's it and he said uh, until the day we meet our last enemy which is death itself yeah we thought that was you know a pretty pretty deep heavy kind of thing the, the meaning behind it uh, death can be seen as a negative thing I guess but you can also flip it it can be a positive thing you know we're all going to die uh, so live life to your fullest um, and again like in the tarot the death card can be seen as, as a positive as a rebirth uh, so we like that duality uh, of, of the meaning behind the name and yes yeah, so we want that I think see, I, see personally I don't see it as uh, a reference to death because death isn't an enemy it's inevitable something we all face but I see it more as a our last enemy is more so yourself everyone has to face their own choices in the end uh, and, uh, and the consequences yeah. of those choices and those actions and deal with that so ultimately everyone's last enemy is themselves so it's not death it's open to interpretation so we bring to the table uh, heavy, dark music with a lot of atmosphere and even cinematic elements. Uh, sense, like, yeah, the sense definitely like a horror movie kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely. Around. I think that's true. Um, and uh, yeah, we like to blend a lot of genres. I think we all have lots of different tastes in music and that really comes out in our music. It's a, it's a big melting pot of all our ideas and our, our interests uh, in music, which I think makes us a little bit unique in that sense, what we do. Um, and I think you know we, we, we pride ourselves in our live show as well. We also uh, have a strong point uh, where we try to put a lot of effort into our songwriting, uh, which I think a lot of bands uh, are missing these days and can basically uh, put the songs out, put albums out too easily without really uh, going in depth to it. So we definitely try to put more, a lot of emphasis on in our songwriting and making sure that uh, everyone's really happy with it before we, we show it to anyone. We bring a live performance and uh, some theatrics to the stage that hasn't been seen in many years. It's like, you know, the glam days with Motley and, and all those kind of bands and Kiss, you know, costumes, per se, and makeup, and lots and lots of energy. I mean, if you're gonna get on stage and you're gonna perform, then you have to do that. That's what it is. It's all eyes on you. So make sure that uh, you're actually putting on a show that people are going to want to see. I mean, what's the point of going to a live uh, environment when the show is just as good with your back turned to the stage as it is if you were watching? You know, who wants to see a bunch of guys get up on stage and every you know casual t-shirts, jeans, and boring shoes, and all that kind of shit when they can get up there and you know have some fun with it. You know, music and the audio side of it is, I say, 40%. The rest of it is visual. Yeah, I totally fucking agree. I mean, that's, it's kind of like this. You have like, I mean, 
the stage show, I mean, if you're going to perform live, you need to put on a good show. Because, I mean, you know, if they want to hear, like, you know, flawless playing and all this, you know, they can listen to the album, you know, it's like the stage show. You want to smash them, man. It's like, and so live music. Yeah, we throw we throw our instruments around. I mean, it's like, you know, it's it's crazy. But yeah, I mean, we're we're all over, and we put 100 percent into it because we want to give the best performance, the best show that we can, so people walk away going, oh wow, like you know, they, we want them to see the energy, want them to feel the energy. Um, yeah, yeah, you definitely walk away with your money's worth. And yeah, you definitely. Energy. Just look at the video clips. We we got once called. Uh, on our live show, uh, the Wolves and Wolves Clothing, meaning a lot of metal bands play this brutal music, but they just stand there, whereas we'll do it and hurt ourselves. Uh, so I think that's a good example. And possibly members of the crowd as well. Yeah. Uh, our latest release is Pariah, which is uh, out now through Eclipse Records. It's our debut North American release, uh, available everywhere right now. Uh, Particularly for us, we're right now in our uh, rehearsal studio working on, on new material already. Uh, so expect to follow up with ASAP on that. But yeah, Pariah out now through Eclipse Records. I think one of our favourite shows for sure was uh, our last record release here in Australia. Uh, we had a packed out venue, uh, we put a lot of effort in the stage show, we had uh, you know, drop drop curtains at the start of the show. It was hey, like, drop bears. <laughs> yeah, drop bears. Uh, we, we do things like that when we can. It's 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 a bit difficult sometimes. Uh, to, to make music in this country. country. Definitely yeah. when you're in this country. Yeah, Australia is a bit. Sorry. Australia makes it a bit difficult sometimes to uh, some of the venues, uh, but. You know, we, we do it as, as often as we can because, like we said before, it's it's all about the stage show. It's all about doing something really special and delivering that something special to uh, to you. Uh, I guess in in general, uh, we we gig a lot. We're one of the hardest working bands we think in the country. We've toured the country uh, a lot and, and, and New Zealand as well. Um, and uh, we just play play a lot. So I think we promote ourselves by getting out there and, and getting the music to the people. In terms of a new release, we've got Eclipse on board, who are pumping it real, uh, really hard, and we've got the, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, we've got uh, Adrenaline PR who've been helping us out, getting us a lot of exposure, a lot of media stuff like we're doing right now. Uh, I know we, we work social media a lot. We've got a Facebook page and a Twitter, which uh, uh, we, we seem to get a lot of response from as well. So definitely working all angles there and really pushing this new release at the moment. We're also uh, telemarketing everyone. <laughs> um, that was going to be most of the time I was just about to say. Really? Like, what is, no, not telemarketing, but like what are the, the, the new ways of promoting this? Well, I mean, we, apart from saying social media, all right, you know, we used to, and all that kind of I stuff. I can say this, as a what? band, as a band in this, what do you want to call it, decade, a yeah. band of this era, you have to work really, really hard to promote things. I mean, people, uh, there's so many bands out there and they're easily accessible, like on, on the internet, you can find just a million bands, you know, and uh, and nobody really cares. So you have to really, really, you have to really work That's hard true. to get people's attention and you've got to just, you know, be, be that something special. You have to put in that extra effort and, like, yeah, we, we do a lot of work, you know, in order to do that. It's gone are the days of going and standing in the, you know, middle of a crowded, busy city on a weekend and uh, holding up your uh, CD and begging people to, as they walk past, to put the headphones on and have a listen. And if they like it, give them a flyer and say, come to the show. You just get discovered. You just yeah, get discovered. Those, those days are gone, man. You, you, uh, Ollie and I used to do the, uh, the old school way of, uh, we used to put stickers up. Uh, along the streets and, and posters as well, but it's recently in most of Sydney become uh, illegal now to put uh, gig posters up. But uh, occasionally we'll still go on a bit of a sticker run and just put some stickers up. So that's a bit of an old school way, guerrilla style. Guerrilla style. Uh, although how long they stay up, no one knows. But that's something that you can do. Uh, as well, and people steal them for the sticker books. See, fundamentally, if you're a good band, you will get noticed regardless you know the best form of promotion is word of mouth I mean you can if you haven't got a product to sell no amount of shameless self-promoting is going to get you anywhere if you've got product it will get noticed and that's the best thing you can do is just make sure that what you're selling is viable uh, we'd like to thank uh, everyone who's bought the album uh, who watched our videos 
on YouTube. Uh, we'll be uh, coming over to North America very soon to do a tour. Well, keep so, your eyes out for the Bell the Sun video clip coming yeah, out. Yeah, a new clip coming out real soon. Uh, we hope to be over there as soon as we can. Uh, we hope to see you at a live show. I just want to thank uh, all the radio in North America that's been playing us lots lately. Uh, it's, it's been really great to see all the support and everyone jumping on board and and, uh, and yeah, everyone at the skateboard marketing uh, and, and Eclipse and Adrenaline. And MTV. Peace.